I am the director of the Berkeley Interdisciplinary Art Institute, and the work that we do is helping young musicians work with artists outside of music. Tom Riley, one of the vice presidents at Berkeley, asked me if I would be able to help him devise a performance for the dedication of this new building in which musicians actually played MIDI instruments, electronic keyboards, and played lighting on that was integrated with the architecture of the building. But what we wanted to do here was turn the building into a musical instrument, be able to use the same lights but have the instruments or the keyboards or whatever was playing actually control what happens to the lights on the building. And I did a little research, found out nobody had ever really done this before. So I was originally asked if it would be possible to play the building in the sense that we'd have a MIDI controller or some sort of instrument controlling lights on the, the windowed floors. My first step was finding a way to send controller messages to the multiple floors. So uh, for that I used a combination of Arduino platforms and the Raspberry Pi microcomputer. Actually, I custom designed a converter board which takes in MIDI signals and converts it to DMX. What I, I brought to the mix, what I knew about the control systems for the Lumen Pulse lights, and they were basically a DMX controlled system that used external software. I'll be uh, triggering some of the visual sequences that we programmed and I'll also be drumming uh, right before the ribbon cutting. It's all uh, software that Jason and I and uh, Jake have put together. It's all in Max MSP and uh, we just tried to create as many cool patterns as we could. For instance, this one, you can see it's time to be with a kick and snare. So there you have a kick drum, there you have a snare drum. So one of us will be sitting there actually triggering these alongside the drummer. <laughs> project was kind of twofold. One was to uh, design the, the lighting uh, system and the lighting performance for the dedication ceremony, but also to work with young people, young musicians, and train them in um, programming lighting, working with the Lumen Pulse company and programmers at Lumen Pulse to understand how their existing hardware works, um, to learn how to work with a lighting designer, in this case John himself. And with that kind of nucleus, we began to do tests to see if we could, you know, pull this off. It was really good working with students. They're very cooperative, easy to work with. Um, Ellen, in particular, really understood almost immediately what we were up to. And I was able to, with her descriptions and listening to her music, come up with what we called beginning sequences, or basically a still pattern that we could input to our control system. Sound and light to me are linked. There is there is little difference in the way I think and how I think about sound and light. It seems like a completely natural thing to work with. Well the first song is going to be, I really want, I was imagining sort of the sunrise, um, so it will start with these blues and greens um, and sort of from the first two or three levels and then eventually it'll grow into these warm colors like when the sun rises. this point was to get this group of eight or nine students, some of whom had absolutely no experience uh, with the hard aspect of electronics, to put this all together. Yeah. 
seminar. The students built, soldered up Medita DMX converters, they assembled the lights, they hung the lights, they helped calibrate the lights. So it really did take a village doing all kinds of things. 